What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to take a look at the 21st Century Toys 118 scale German Pack 40 anti-tank cannon. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box here. So there's nothing really too special going on with the box here. You obviously just have the Pack 40 name and the uh, 21st Century Toys logo and stuff. Um, but there you can see the Pack 40 with all the accessories as well as the figure that comes with it. Um, and we do have some artwork of the Pack 40 on the top of the box as well as on the sides. And on the back here you can see the other vehicles as well as planes that 21st Century Toys produced at the time. And let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. So all we got to do is just cut the tape here and on the bottom of the box. And I think there's also some tape on the other side there. If I can get to it. So I believe this back piece, which is the uh, armor protection on the cannon, uh, actually came off. It should go right there. And there's a few other pieces that kind of came off, I guess, from storage and stuff but uh, yeah there it is out of the box let me go ahead and take each piece out of the packaging and then we'll go over the accessories first so there's everything out of the packaging let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the accessories that were uh, included with the gun so right away we got three wooden ammo crates now obviously these are uh, plastic but they do have that wood texture and look to them which i love um, we have the 7.5 centimeter kwk40 on the top of the box and they do open to reveal more shells look at that so we were provided with three shells that were already uh, displayed in the box for you to see them and then these other ones were hidden away in the other crates here so let's look at this one here yep more shells very nice very nice and then this one is the I thought this was going to be like more shells as well but we actually have an empty crate to obviously store the shells that were displayed out uh, in the box so that's very nice it's going to put these in the uh, the crate here and here's a little closer look can't really show you too well on camera but there's a closer look at what's written on the shell there pretty cool and we also got a uh, baggie here that's full of more accessories for the uh, figure uh, this part just fell off from the gun, so don't mind that. But let's go ahead and take a look at the bag here. See what we got inside. We'll take a look at the figure afterwards. Let's see here. Okay. Quite a few little accessories in here. Oh, look at that, we even have a coat in here, winter coat. Oh, okay, I see. So, basically we can change up... Let's go ahead and take a look at the figure while we're at it, since these are our, our accessories for the figure. There's the figure that we get for the gun. Very nice detail, all the way around. Love the paintwork. I love that it has articulated knees, but I hate that it has the, uh, you know, this special articulation in the arms. I wish they were articulated as the knees were, or in the same fashion, but uh, can bend them. I don't want to bend them, put too much stress on the uh, plastic here because it is a fairly old figure. and We don't want to break anything, but that's the figure. Let's go and take a look at the extra accessories that we got for him. So right now he's kind of in like a, I guess you could call it summer or um, I guess, yeah, anything that's not winter. So he's kind of like in that season uh, seasonal dress, I guess. I don't even know what to call it, but uh, in that uniform. Um, and we were actually provided some very interesting accessories to kind of suit him up for the winter. That's right. So uh, we got some spare arms with gloves, as you can see there. Got that band going around. Deutschland. That's very nice. Uh, and then we got two other arms here for the other side. Yeah, this is the same thing. Uh, we got a uh, display stand there. We got his uh, rifle. His uh, helmet. And his back uh, piece here, pouch. 
which holds his uh, canteen. And uh, I think that's his mess kit right there. So that just goes around on top of his uh, shoulders. And yeah, then there's his coat. Very nicely detailed coat. I love that it is kind of like that rubber material. So you can basically just, uh, let's see if I can do this on camera. <laughs> you can just kind of slide it on there like that, maybe. And it's going to be a lot harder than I thought it would be. Okay, never mind. I think we can get this done on camera, guys. <laughs> there you go. Okay, stretch that out. And yeah, and there you go. You kind of have the coat on there. And of course, the arms would be switched out to the ones with gloves. Um, but just so you can get an idea there of how the coat would look. So, very nice, guys. Love the accessories that came uh, with this gun. Now, I think it's time we go ahead and move on to the uh, actual thing that we came here to look at today, and that is the Pack 40. Now, I must say that 21st Century Toys did an amazing job on this Pack 40. I mean, they included such details as the uh, mud and dirt splashed on the tires there, as well as on the front little armored plate there. I mean, even such details is just, I mean, it's just amazing to see on such a model. Um, I mean, back then it was technically considered a toy. Nowadays it's considered a model. And, you know, we can really see why they're considered models nowadays. I mean, all the little intricate details over there that you see. Really, really great job all the way around. We do have even a shovel right there. And I think, if we take a closer look here, I believe the breech is also uh, operational, so we can open it, I think. Yep, look at that. We can open the breech, or even just take that box out there. And let's grab one uh, shell and see if we can put it inside there. Load the gun. Yep, look at that. Halfway at least, <laughs> yeah. For whatever reason, it's not wanting to go all the way in, but anyways, you get the idea there. So at least they included that, and then you can go ahead and go back and uh, close the breech here. So now, as for the features of the Pack 40, the gun can rotate up just about that much, and then it can rotate down up to this little uh, armor plate right here. So no lower than that. Uh, let's see here, the gun can move side to side, so that is nice. Now when you are ready to deploy the gun, all you have to do is open up this little uh, hatch piece here, and the arms should slide open like that, into that stance there, and then boom, you're ready to go, ready for battle. So very nice. And then when you're ready to, when you're done with the battle and you want to tow the gun away, you just slide these arms back into this position, close this, make sure it's nice and tight, and then you're ready. So it's got a little tow hitch on the back here that you can attach to the back of a half track. And I can just show you, for example, I do have one with me right here. So I've got my 21st Century Toys German half track here. And I thought that you could attach the gun without any issues to the back of it, but uh, there's a pin here that you can see right here that I thought is removable. But no, it is not removable. Removable. It is kind of in a molded state there. And basically what you would do is you would remove the pin and then slide the, uh, the hitch in there and then put the pin back in and it would be good to go. But uh, in this case, we're running into that problem there. But uh, just for fun, I guess, you could display it like, uh, like that, you know. It doesn't make much of a difference. Um, but if you are wanting to do like an RC conversion or whatever, you are probably going to have to run into that problem there with the uh, half track uh, pin not wanting to come out. So, or just in a molded piece. So overall, a really nicely detailed Pack 40 gun by 21st Century Toys. I give it a 5 out of 5. I enjoyed every bit and piece of this gun. Um, you know, all the accessories, the, even the figure that it came with uh, is really nicely detailed. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to display this on the shelf. And I think that's going to have to do it for this video, guys. Make sure to hit that like button. Comment down below if you want to see more of these types of videos. And if you're new here, definitely hit that subscribe button because you won't want to miss my upcoming videos. So 
See you later, guys.